right, go ahead and click New, click ACAD, and make sure it's a DWT, and this is the one that's going to look like a checkerboard. So we're going to kind of do the same thing around the outside. It's metric, but we're not going to worry about that since we're just dealing in units. F8 to turn on ortho. We're going to go across 132. Hit Enter. Now that goes off the page, which is fine by me. Uh, then we're going to go up 132. Go left. See, it's even gone. I can't even see it. Can't even pan that far, but if I move the mouse this way, I can type in 132 and hit enter, and then I can hit C to close. And even though you couldn't see it, it's still doing the stuff out there. But but it might take a little bit of practice, but you can move things, do things quickly. Because remember, you're trying to memorize it and learn it, but you do want to uh, get your parts done as quickly as, as you can possibly get them done. That's how you make money in the business. All right. So we're going to go ahead and click offset again. Uh, I'm going to offset this time. I'm going to set the distance, uh, as we saw on the drawing, is a 6. And we'll do 6 millimeters each way. So I'm going to click on the line, click the direction that I want to go. I'm going to use the trim command like I did bef to end before. So I'm going to click trim, right click right away, and click that right there. So I'm just going to click those sections. I'm not using the cutting edge, but you probably should remember how to do that. Okay, click enter. Okay, this is where this gets kind of interesting. We're going to offset again. To make the checkerboard shape, uh, we're going to make the, each one of those squares is 15 millimeters. So I'm going to offset this line 15 millimeters in this direction, then this line in this direction, this line in this direction. So we're going to offset those in the direction we want to go. Okay, we're going to offset again this one in this direction. Offset these all up there. See how the checkerboard shape is coming in? Now, this can get real confusing. We're going to worry solely about this corner right here, and we're going to show you why. All right, so now the lines on this to fill it in are three millimeters apart. So I'm going to click offset one more time, set the distance as three, and then offset this line, and I'm going to go three this way, this way, this way. All right, so I got that perfect in there. Now, I could start using trim and trim this part out and do a whole lot of clicking, right? Click this, 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 and do this all the way across the board. If I did that now, if I offset these three, it would get really confusing really quickly. But we don't want to do that. All right, so what we're going to do is this. The ones we just made right there, those four lines. If we click trim, right, we're going to select this as a cutting edge right there right click with the mouse and we're only going to click on those four now what that's done is that's left us with just one block uh, filled in now what we'll do is we're going to click copy and we're going to do a window around those four blocks going to pick this corner so I'm going to right click once I'm done uh, selecting those parts click on this corner as my base point and I'll skip a one I'll skip a block and use that endpoint and this endpoint and this endpoint as my uh, points to copy to. Right click and enter. Do this again. I'm going to copy and I'm going to copy all of those things I just created. So there's all those lines right there. Right click, enter. I'm going to click this base point here and I'm going to go to this intersection right there. Now it looks like it's all messed up but because I picked a bottom uh, corner when I go up here, it's going to put that as a bottom corner there, so it puts those in the right right spot. I could go all the way up the page doing this. Um, it's probably easy to do uh, that way. I had to pan there, holding down the mouse key. I mean the mouse wheel. Right click and enter. Double click the double click the uh, mouse wheel to zoom the extents. I'm going to click save. This part is part F. All right, you get the idea. That one was really really easy. Oops, I want to click print change this to dwg to pdf extents center the plot remember you're saving your dwg and then you're submitting pdfs when you have to all right very good all right on to the next one